want an answer for my life. Now, I got to tell you this. I was a football player, and they say I wasn't too bad. But you know what I want to do as a football player? I want to carry the ball. <laughs> they wouldn't let me carry the ball. They said I was too big. And I played in Firewall Championship game, and I thought, man, this is great. And then I got traded. You ever been traded? <laughs> it's like you were leaving out today to come here, and, and your wife or husband said, take all your stuff. <laughs> so, so I went to the L.A. Rams, and I wanted to, to carry the football. But they wouldn't let me carry the football. They put me on defense. So now here I stand. And I'm looking at that football. Everybody say decision. Everyone say decision. decision. Everyone say decision. decision. An incredible word, decision. What's the decision are you going to make? See, we talk about lead like Jesus. That's what we're talking about. As we look around the world today, we know that something is wrong with this world. How could people do the things that they're doing to one another and say that we are a godly nation, a godly world? When I hear people say, God bless America, I say, we better say, God bless the world, because the world has need of God. And how are they going to hear about God? How are they going to see God in action unless they see us? I know that a lot of times when, when, when you think sometimes you get all excited about how you're going to go out and do something. And, and as Brother Hardy was saying, that fear, when you step out and look at all these faces looking at you and you say, oh boy, I better not say what I was thinking I was going to say. But, 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 you know, the Bible said, be what? Strong in the Lord. Everybody says strong in the Lord. Strong in the Lord. Everybody says strong in the Lord. Strong. And in the power of his might. Say it. In the power of his might. Yeah, be strong in the law and the power of his might. Well, if I'm strong in the law, <laughs> I can come out here and act like God wants me to act like myself. Because he got other people to act like themselves. You don't have to be like anyone else. I had a problem one time. I went to this big convention. I saw all these great name ministers coming out, and I felt like I was two cents. And, and, and when I went home, I, I, I was thinking, I said, Lord, how am I going to be like them? And, and, and early in the morning, you know, and God's good, isn't he? When I asked all these questions early in the morning, the answers started coming so fast that I, when, while I'm trying to receive and trying to give it out, he said, I didn't call you to be like them. I raised you up to be like the skills and talent that you have, to be your, the expression that you have. Let me use that. So God want to use you just as you are. He don't care what color you are. Does he? No. I didn't hear that. No, no he, he, don't, he don't care what color you are, what neighborhood you come from, or how much money you have. God is not impressed by your bank account. He's not impressed how poor you are, how, how frugal you live. Are you willing to let him use you? Because he can do great things to us. You know what? If, if, if God, if we will allow God to use us, we will be world changers. Everybody say world changers. World changers. Everybody say world changers. Raise your hand and say, world changes. changes. That's what this is about. Are we willing to let God use us to change the world? He said, lead like Jesus. We are following Jesus. Before we can follow him, we got to know him. The world is waiting to see Christ. The world is waiting to see Jesus in operation. And we are the ones that were called a long time ago. In the womb of the parents, we were called. We came into the world to do great things. Using our skills and our talent in the area which we have the skills and the talent to perform. That's what this is about. Your decision. That's what it's about. What decision 
will you make with your life? As I told this the other day, you only have one. Everybody say one. one. You only have one. Everybody say one. one. Let me sit down for a second. Did y'all say one? One life. Not two. One. And we are responsible for that one life. What we do with this one life, we can influence and change the whole world. There's a man that shook my world up a long time ago. When I thought I was bringing a leader to the nation, a man jumped out of audience and shot him down. And I began to look around since I lost the man that I thought could change America. I started looking around who was, who was going to lead now. And I ended up looking in the mirror. And the mirror looking at me said, what you going to do? I, I, I said, I, I can't. I'm, I'm, just a, I'm just a football player. I'm talking about decision. You see, we have to make a decision. If we're going to follow God's plan, and this is God's plan. This is the playbook. This is the playbook. Y'all not saying amen too good. Everybody say amen. amen. Yeah, the playbook. We got to know the playbook. We have quarterbacks and we got all these, but there's a team here. And I like that. I like being a part of, of this team. I'm excited about this team. And so it's up to men and women everywhere to make a decision and get out and start leading like Jesus. By touching the lives of, of people that are down and out and up and out. There are people hurting everywhere. And they need to see Jesus in operation in us. Everybody say decision. Yeah. Everybody say decision. Yeah. When I had a chance in the football arena, listen, when I had a chance in the football arena, I'm looking at that football in the air and remember that last week I called ball and this guy get it. So I'm standing looking at the football and I'm saying, not going to say ball. Because I want to run 95 yards for a TD myself. So as I stand there with my hands up in the air, that old voice came to me again and says, can you catch? <laughs> I said, what? He said, can you catch? <laughs> well, I, I had never practiced catching. When I had an opportunity to run 95 yards for a TD, I wasn't able to do it because I hadn't prepared. I was not prepared. I was not. Everybody say, you were not prepared. You were not prepared. I'm not going to tell you to say that another time. <laughs> I was not prepared. So the thing is, we have a chance to run all the way to glory. <laughs> and this is our playbook. This is the playbook. Let us get to know the playbook so we can Execute the plan so Jesus can come. Because Jesus is ready to come. If we begin to lead like Jesus, we're going to see all those old bridges and things that the devil has set up going to begin to crumble. We're going to pull down the, the walls of hatred and suspicion. Love is going to be the preeminence in our lives. And we're going to truly know the love of love, joy of love and forgiveness. We are world changers. Everybody say, I am, I am a world changer. World say it again, I am, I am a world changer. World Raise your hand. Say, we are, we are world changers. World One more time, we are, we are world changers. My career, which was about just a little over a year ago, 
I was the president of a Japanese multinational company in the Philippines. I felt successful um, having been in the leadership position. And of course, um, earning much, but um, unfortunately though, that took so much time away from family. My relationship with my wife for the time was, was not good. And It's just that good. I mean, we, we we almost separated at the time. What really hit me was um, two years ago when I got involved with, uh, you know, did like Jesus. The, the fact that the, the name of Jesus is is, is in the title. Uh, going in there, I said, this is going to be a different, different kind of leadership. Lead Like Jesus is all about being a servant leader, not only at work, but more importantly at home. The joy, you know, the, the relationship with Jesus and the relationship that is being built with my wife and, and my family, my two daughters, it's, it's just incredible, it's just better. After I left the corporate world, so to speak, I decided that I should start, you know, putting together my own company. My vision would be bring in biblical worldview. I could be more of a servant leader and help others achieve their full potential. I'd like them to see Jesus in me. I'd like them to see how I could lead like Jesus.